Okay, so right now let's prepare our textures to exporting uh, them for Unreal Engine 4. And before we will do this, you should know a few things. Uh, if you are going to export these textures right now, how they look right now, they will not work uh, properly. Uh, the one thing you should know is uh, about a gloss texture. For Unreal Engine we will need this texture inverted, probably. So, for example, we can go and choose invert, maybe even tweak some values and export this texture. But let's delay this for now. And for the normal texture, there are a few important things. Uh, it depends uh, which software we've been using for baking the normal maps. Uh, let's say we've been baking our normal maps in Maya. So, we should go into our base texture and we will have to invert a green channel. Of course, right now our normal map might look a little bit weird, but this will work in Unreal. If you will not do this, we will get uh, bad results with our normal map texture. So, there is a good way for doing all these things um, automatically. And let's open uh, Dido. I mean, a QXL suit. So, let's open Dido. So you can see Dido detected all the textures that we have here and it loaded all the layers. So we have all the albedo layers. For this time let's just have a dust on so you can see we've got ambient occlusion gloss texture and normal map so to do the exporting automatically we can go here open the exporter and even if we set a calibra calibration profile at the beginning for Unreal Engine 4 we want to use it again. Let's set a path and I've created a folder here called Unreal Engine 4 Weapon Files and of course 8 bit 100% Unreal Engine 4 and let's export them. So right now we can close uh, Dido, we can close these PSD texture files, uh, yes we can save all the changes. Let's open this folder and you can see Dido generated for us this uh, file. So our albedo looks pretty normally, uh, ambient occlusion too, and the gloss texture is called now uh, roughness, and you can see our gloss texture is inverted, and of course some values are a little bit lower, 
So Dido probably applied some kind of a filter to it to calibrate it more correctly I think and of course we have uh, the OBJ file for the model and of course a normal map I skip this one and you can see on our normal map the green channel for the base texture is inverted and we can easily see this, this right now but this will of course work uh, ok in Unreal Engine so in next part we will export uh, import these textures into Unreal and we will set up uh, create a basic uh, shader for our weapon so one more quick thing uh, at the end of this part you remember when we are ex when we've been exporting our textures uh, I set a resolution to 100% and this is very big because we have uh, our textures uh, 4K resolution so it's too big to use in game uh, the normal size for the weapon will be 2048 per 2048 texture so we can choose in dedo or do it manually of course uh, the scaling of our textures but we can uh, we have the options in dedo to set uh, 50% and we have some filters i've choose a sharper one and I've just exported all the textures with a smaller size uh, to use in Unreal Engine.